right. That's not a panic voice. You don't scare me. Work on it. <laughs> Work on it. All right, Steve is uh, coming into the Situation Room. Oh, my God, we have a situation. Yeah, we know, Steve. Know. Oh, <laughs> we have a situation. Oh, it's, it's, it's terrible. terrible. I'm sorry. We actually do have a situation. Why? We have two Bengal tigers in the... Uh, two? Yeah. Are you kidding? I am not kidding. Two of them? How big just, are they? Um, I'd say Aww. about 30 inches, maybe, each. Aww. Wait, we got Bengal not... tigers coming into the studio. Uh, yeah, they'll. See, that's why you got to listen to the opening Anthony. Are they show. playing? You never know what's going to happen. Are yeah, they, are they still at the age where they're drinking out of a milk yes, bottle? Yeah, they're drinking out of milk bottle. You know, I and brought not a mauling camera. an old lady like I that brought bear. A camera. You brought a today. camera. God. I want pictures of the little tigers. Tigers are adorable. Baby animals are just the cutest thing, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> He's got his soft side. What kind he of really does. You know what's so funny to hear that within two minutes of him gazing at the mother of a of a, a dead woman going, look how fat she is. <laughs> I just you got you got to play that back. The way he said it was just like he was just standing there with somebody else, you know, looking at nature, like yeah. looking looking out over a valley. Yeah, he didn't say yeah, it like yeah. he was on a ra on the radio. Right, let's go to Philly, God, Brian. You're right, it Brian. Just what's came up? Out of me. Look how fat she is. <laughs> fat she is. Brian. Good morning, boys. Hey, let's go. Uh, the Philadelphia Inquirer just has it listed as a regular obituary. However, the Philadelphia Daily News has, she wanted to be like Marilyn. Anna Nicole Smith left this world teaching a lesson to a public that followed her every bizarre, over-the-top move. Money doesn't buy happiness. Ugh. Ew. Who followed her me? every move? They kept putting it on the TV. <laughs> right. <laughs> I didn't want to see it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Let's, let's go to Dallas. Tom in Dallas, what's up? Hey, how's it going, bu I, bu 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 boys? Hey. Hey, man. Okay, well, the Dallas Morning News, on the front page, it says, Smith's life had drama till end. And um, and it's not even the main story on the front page. The main story on the front page is the Cowboys have a new head coach. Well, it's of course Dallas, you guys of course. do. Yes, it's all about God. football. That's the most important thing. Started. Yeah. All right, punch it out. Thank you, Tom. Talon, the trucker. What's up, Talon? I want to call Anthony out. Yeah. yeah. And Anna Nicole's mom looks like Ethel Mertz. What's your target audience range? <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. Let me tell you something, my friend. Us, um, the uh, tail end of the baby boomers <laughs> used to have to watch those goddamn reruns. There are plenty of people who watch uh, Ethel Mertz. I'm with Tal. Reruns. Uh, reruns of in, I Love Lucy. You watch that in prime time. I did. A brand new episode of the Ethel Mertz Show. Mother, I want to watch the television. It is brought to you by Texaco. I <laughs> Turn on the Dumont Network. I want to watch I Love Lucy. <laughs> it's direct from De Desilu Studios, you know. You guys are and great. mom, give me a lucky. Because <laughs> smoking's still cool. Smoking's fine. That's right. It's good for the throat. <laughs> Let's go to Rick in Pittsburgh. Rick. Hey, Rick. <laughs> That's a Fred Mertz reference, mother. <laughs> What's up, Rick? <laughs> Rick, we lose you? Hi, Rick from Pittsburgh. All right, man. we promised the uh, the Clint Eastwood uh, clip. Here it is. Yes. And Nicole Smith. Everyone uh, is commenting about it. Everyone that. seems a little choked up about it, and it's uh, very hard for them to really convey their emotions. <laughs> well, here's Clint Eastwood. This is terrific today. Let's talk. I, I, I want to touch on this with you, and then I'm going to leave it because I know there are far more urgent issues for you. But oh Anna Nicole goodness. Smith has died, uh, sort of a whimsical character in the eyes of the press, here again, gone again, celebrity, gone again. You have survived so many careers that have gone up and down. Um, the hell is he going for? How do you feel? You're, you're trying to make me feel senior. <laughs> I, I see what you're doing. Uh, I feel I feel fine. I'm sorry for the that the, this uh, uh, life ended tragically for this lady. Obviously, that wasn't uh, wasn't a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> but how was the guy he trying to care. do that question? He he wanted to just ask him, "Hey, how do you feel about the Adam Nicole Smith death?" But he knew, like, Clint's like, you're like, why are you asking me this? It has, it has nothing to do. Right. And what am I going to say? I feel great about it? Are you comparing that whore yeah, what are to you an Oscar-winning director? <laughs> yeah, exactly. How could you even ask me that question?
is pretty much what he said. Yeah. I think he had an issue with his age. You're trying to make me feel like senior. Yeah. Dude, you're senior. 90. He is senior to everybody. Still benching like 225 to listen to yeah. sick thing. <laughs> <laughs> but he is senior to everybody. But the guy trying to like, oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. there you go. Sam. Sam came running in in a panic, handing a CD to Opie. A candy was falling out of his head. <laughs> apparently his head is full of candy, as per Steve. Yeah, there's a rumor going around. That there's a rumor. People are saying, <laughs> People here are in the saying. situation room, we've got another side story developing. <laughs> yeah. Our own Sam that works for us. Sources close to Sam. Sources close to Sam, Sam who is, as I believe, Steve C., is reporting that Sam's head is full of candy. I can't believe this is me. And if you hit it the right way, uh, candy will come out of his head. But you, he doesn't want us to crack open his head to see if it, because that might hurt him. There are reports that that happened earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> reports earlier that no. one single jelly bean fell out of his ear. <laughs> Look, now, Than bangs the back of Sam's head and holds his hand out in front of his mouth, <laughs> looking <laughs> like... Open for yep, a little candy yep, treat. Here it is. You put uh, money in a gumball machine, you turn it, and nothing comes out. So you, you hit the machine and put your hand in front of it. That's what he does to Sam's head every day because he's convinced. And then he tries pressing his nose. Like a secret button. Somehow, rumor got out that Sam's head is full of candy. I think he has those awful toys in there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, there's tigers behind you. Oh. Tigers. Look at the little tigers. Wow. This would be really cool if it was TV. Well, we got to put the uh, pal talk cam. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Very very cool. Hey, how many oh, how many more weeks falling. before they try to maul you? Yeah. Well, At what point does it go from, oh, it's adorable, to put it in a cage? Uh, they grow up in a hurry. Uh, these guys right now are nine weeks old. They grow about uh, two to three pounds a week. So at a year old, they have their adult teeth. Um, they're weighing 150 to 200 pounds, and they're they're old enough at, at a year old to do some serious damage. Look at the forearm damage. on that one. Good yeah. Lord. <laughs> Look, what, that could do some damage. Yeah. Also. Wow. Whoa. He's getting uh, annoyed. Just noisy. Thing. That's a whine. Also, they make so, noise. So can we interview the uh, Bengal Tiger? So, uh, Mr. Bengal Tiger, what do you think of the Anna Nicole Smith death that's being reported this morning? He said he, said he thought she was pretty tasty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. For the love of God, can I pet one of those things? That's going to be a sound bite someday. <laughs> oh, my God. These guys were rescue animals. They are Bengal tigers. They're very endangered species. Yeah. Um, so is the Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> yeah. Less than, got less than, uh, less than 3,000 Bengal tigers left in the wild today. Look at your little head. Oh! Look at the size of your feet. Yeah, those things really are wild. You can tell. You you can, try, oh, yeah, they just rip they're you trying, apart. They're trying to treat them like Siamese cats, and they're already not having it. <laughs> they're just, hey, buddy. Isn't that cool? How you doing? There's no taming these things. Oh, my God. You could try, oh, but... He's uh, out of a bottle. <laughs> That's a... Adorable. These are they're, they're really not, dude. Today. If you really look at their face, you see that Damien. Yeah. Look at him yelling at you, Billy. Hey, you just called him Damien, and he's not happy, Bill. Now, what's the difference between the two? I see that one. Obviously, yeah, the more traditional a, orange looking. This is a standard Bengal tiger. Yeah. Um, the, that's his sister. This is a male here. She is a very rare royal white Bengal tiger. She is um, digging her oh claws into my your back. God. Only several hundred of the royal white tigers tigers exist in the world today. Really? And they were protected um, by the Maharaja Rewa in India, and if he hadn't done that, they would be completely gone and extinct. So, um, But they will be at the Super Pet Expo today. Super Pet Expo. Right. Super Pet Expo. What's that about, sir? It's this weekend uh, at the New Jersey Convention Center, oh, hey. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it's all about fun things to do with animals and pets, and we're promoting that Cats are cool, but they don't make good pets. These are killers. Well, what could you do? Wait a minute. Tigers what? are killers? <laughs> <laughs> I love when I come on here and I learn something. <laughs> you do. It's an educational program. But what fun things can you do with Bengal tigers? Well, I'm a little confused uh, there. It's to, You want to learn about why they're good for the environment, 
yeah. why it's we don't want them to go extinct, mm -hmm. and why they don't make good pets, because these aren't pets. These are cool to look at. Do you have to tell people these don't make good pets? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, everyone's a couple you... years ago here yeah. in New York yeah, City yeah. that yeah. I had one in his apartment. See, what happens is people rent Scarface. And they yeah, yeah, and up. see and think that you don't quite have the drug money, but you have an apartment. At this age, they're very cute and cuddly. And uh, everybody thinks that they would like to have them, but unfortunately, like I said, in a, at a year's time, they're already eating like 15 pounds of meat a day and uh, several several hundred pounds in weight and very powerful What's animals. wrong with that one? Oh, my God. He's like, she's biting your wow. neck. Or... Wow. <laughs> you know See what happens? No, let people... her yell. Let her yell. Don't... No, that's going to be the one that, like, grabs some fat lady from Wisconsin gets yeah. up against the zoo cage. Yeah. She's going, get a gun. Get a gun. Yo, get that thing away. Away from me. I don't want to hold that thing. Jesus. See, what happens is people get these, and they think they can train them and make them pets. Right. And they're not. They're going to be crazy to have these in your house. That, that one sitting in your lap, I think, is more docile. This one, the uh, the white one, is more evil. It's a girl. Uh, say, uh, need say anymore? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we knew a guy, remember it? We knew a guy back in the day. He kind of had a few of these. We're not sure if he had them legally or illegally. Like in his yard. And he would come by the show every once in a while. Uh, he would just drive into into the city with a truck and bring some of these animals up. Exotic and one day animals. he showed up at the station with a uh, with a baby elephant <laughs> that he was attempting to get up to the, uh, to our studio. <laughs> and then I think a few years later he uh, did he have a big yellow hat. A few years later he <laughs> might have made the papers. <laughs> he might have made yeah. the papers. And a, and a little monkey named George. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How the hell do you get an, an elephant? We we don't know because it never happened. Yeah. So we were told we pretty much would be thrown you in jail. You are an yeah. annoyed cat. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of your paws. They're giant. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's purring. <laughs> Yeah, that's as close to a purr. These are roaring cats, that's so they can't I'm actually purr, it. but they make a chuffing noise, which is a, a friendly sound oh, for tigers. It's okay, tiger. Look at that. That's, that's her friendly sound. That's adorable. Noise. That's because I'm petting her. Yeah. And and she knows I'm her pal. Yeah. Oh, I'm really she's hoping she's going to take a nice Vegas. swat at his face. I, I will Shut love up, a Billy. swipe. <laughs> I would love a swipe I'm right now. A fun moment with this lovely animal. Oh, that would be great. Then you get slapped in the face. And then later on that night on BET, some, you have to like show the clip on YouTube. Did you see that white boy trying to pet that tiger? What is wrong with white people? Become a YouTuber. I guess that um, calms the, the cat down. Uh, I don't want to hold it. Like grabbing it. Oh, yeah, you you hold them, Anthony. Hold on, Anthony. Hold He's adorable. He's adorable. He's adorable. Hold the damn thing. He's adorable. How many people can say they held a tiger and became its first mauling victim? <laughs> There's Anthony holding the tiger. We're getting video and Very, pictures. When was the last time you held a tiger? Um, uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah. He married one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took all my money. <laughs> hey, uh, the Super Pet Expo. What other animals were there? Well, it's this weekend. We're in New Jersey. What other animals are there? Oh, what other animals are there? Yeah, we're oh. in Jersey again? It's at the New Jersey Convention Center in Edison. Very nice. Okay. Superpetexpo.com. You can find out all the details. Get free kids tickets. We have all kinds of animals. We have alpacas. We have the ultimate air dogs, which are what dog are alpacas? dogs. Alpacas. They have those commercials down in Washington when we go down there. Exactly. I, uh, they're like uh, llamas or something. Exactly. Yeah. Really cute and fuddly, friendly. And yeah. We'll be in D.C. next month. Yep. Yeah. We're in okay. D.C. Uh, March 23rd at the Dulles Expo Center. Yeah. And uh, actually, in, in D.C., you can get your pictures taken with these tiger cubs. Yeah. And you make a donation to the Horseshoe yeah, Creek horrible. Tiger Foundation. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's it. Nice. Oh. I'm telling you, Anthony, you, you it went you, for my throat. I saw that. I got milk on me. <laughs> in New Jersey, New Jersey has some of the, wow. the, the toughest laws in the country when it comes to tiger cubs, so yeah. we can't do pictures in New Jersey. Okay. Really? And we can't do pictures with the tiger cubs, but they'll be on display at the show. People can come by and check them out, talk to Daryl and Cody from Horseshoe Creek, and help support their cause. They rescue these animals. Yeah. So these are unwanted animals. Then they were uh, unwanted oh. by their mother. Where'd you find oh. these? Where'd you find these? Wait a, minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Unwanted what? owner out what? in the Midwest. The mother didn't want them. 
That's exactly How right. How did you determine that? Because she goes like this and won't feed him. Yeah, she, she wouldn't. Yeah, she rejected him at birth. She wouldn't feed him. She just, after she had him, what she was walked her away problem? from him. It happens a lot of times in, in captivity, but even in the wild, a lot of first-time moms, they have no clue how to take care of their babies. Yeah. And uh, so they'll just walk Stupid away from tiger. him. tiger. <laughs> hey, can we let the tigers run around a little bit, or...? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Like if you let that, yeah. yeah, put him down for a minute. Yo, man, get that thing <laughs> away from me. Come on, Billy. It's cat? cute. Look at it. There you go. Oh. It's going under Billy's chair. It's. Oh my God! It's ripping his leg off. <laughs> that thing. Is, look how cute. That thing is prowling. Look how. It, look how it moves around. Yeah, that, it looks like a a miniature version of the real thing. All right, <laughs> the shoes look pretty good. Yeah, they're. They're just wandering around the studio right now. Here's the other one. Can we uh, them? Absolutely. Right. They're very friendly. Anthony, you, you, you ever been scratched friendly. by a cat? Look, you know how small those things are? Look how big this, these things' paws are. I know. They're giant. You get I scratched want to by see, a regular cat. Is there a listener outside waiting for the walkover that we could get up here? <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be great to just have a just listener Just have him mauled. rip his, his pocket tee and his nipple off. All right. They're just wandering around the studio. All right, They're very guys. friendly. They're just curious, looking for... Well, guys, give it the big plug. We really appreciate this. We do more, but this is radio. Yeah, they're so. just wandering around it looking for... A, a makes it a little tendon. tough. That's all right. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to come visit you. Yeah, no, thanks, no, guys. Appreciate we appreciate it. Tell everybody to get a chance to come out and see these beautiful animals and all the other animals at, at the show this weekend. Um, a few months ago when the uh, crocodile hunter died... Uh, what, what were your feelings? Uh, that was uh, probably the biggest blow to the environmental community. Um, he was the greatest spokesperson for saving nature and wildlife and, and just a great loss. And it's a, it's left a void. I mean, somebody needs to step up to the plate and fill in and carry on his work. Do you feel like you could, you, could, you could step in? I'd love to. I'd love to. You know, but I, I don't. I'm not as charismatic as uh, as the crocodile hunter was. But well, his, uh, his daughter will carry the, his uh, his daughter torch. is carrying the torch. Yes, Bindi. She is. Yeah, Bindi's She's great. All, already all over the TV. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's what it needs. I mean, it, it needs that constant attention, or or a lot of these beautiful creatures are going to be gone from the face of the earth. There you go. All right. So it's okay. the Super Pet Expo, New Jersey all Convention right. Center, all weekend long, right? Correct. Yes. Correct. And and the website once again? It's superpetexpo.com. You can get free kids tickets. You go to superpetexpo.com and Sorry. kids attend for free. Yeah, very, very cool. All right. Welcome. Oh, and Thanks. Leash, leash pets are allowed to come too. Huh? You bring can bring your, your yeah for, for bring food your, for the uh, wait you bring, you bring your own pets to the show. you can super bring your pets to the show and walk around and have a good time we have a puppy playground you can shop all types of cool exhibits the buy playground. neat pet products that you're not going to find in any uh, yeah. any traditional retail store all right can we get a, a, a goodbye from the Bengal tiger there say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye you know what he hates me let me start petting it <laughs> Bill's good. Yeah, Bill's got the magic touch. <laughs> it's getting annoyed. <laughs> yeah, Bill <laughs> hates me. That thing really doesn't like yeah, you, Bill. There you, go. there you go. There's the goodbye. All right, we'll continue with the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> it's the Opie and Anthony show. That's right. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. And officially, we have a situation in the situation, the situation? room. situation? You're the situation. Uh, oh, we just yeah, had rare Bengal right. tigers in the studio. They were adorable. They were adorable, but uh, we made Anthony hold one of the the uh, Bengal the tigers, evil, the evil white one. The as evil was, white one. As I was handing it back, the Bengal tiger. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> it took a swipe at me, and it got me on my neck. Yeah, it did. Look at and, that welt. And Look at it. I uh, now have. A tiger scratch claw mark. Pull it down. I've been Pull mauled. Down. That's cool. You got to make a tattoo out of that. I've been mauled. Make a tattoo oh, by you a got tiger. Two, two marks there. Look at that, dude. Yeah. They're scratch marks. How cool is it that I've been mauled by a tiger? Real cool until the cat scratch uh, fevers, you know, sinks in. They're protected things. They, 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 they didn't just eat a rabid jackal. Oh, yeah, just for everybody out there listening, I, when I said the crocodile hunter, I was trying to do the Clint Eastwood and the Nicole Smith thing. Right. But then I, I realized after I asked it that this guy was, was beneath the crocodile hunter. So then he actually answered it uh, seriously. That he would like to. Uh, and I was getting douche chills. <laughs> that guy wouldn't have been able to. 
<laughs> just going, wow. That, that guy wasn't even he worthy thinks... enough to get him coffee. <laughs> You're oh, asking him that geez. question. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was really, I completely screwed up on my part. So yeah, I was did. just sitting there going like, uh, nobody laughed, and now he's answering it seriously. <laughs> it was a uh, big loss to the Hello Kingdom. <laughs> we got Bill... Uh, girls doing hiding out smoking next thing they'll do give you the vote women <laughs> i joke women's suffrage when we get back <laughs> when we get back i have to look at the tiger that scratched me on fox 5 news now what they're on the, those are the same tigers yeah they said better be that white one uh yeah, yeah that's yeah look at him that's the guy right please there. scratch the fox guy that would be terrific. or the bimbo that yelled at one of our Pest. Why do they always have the blue rug? Yeah, let's go to Paul in Jersey. Paul, what's up? Nasty tiger that white one was. The orange right, one was cute. That's the one that swiped you, right? That one's the one. Hey, I Paul. want him arrested immediately. Uh, last night on uh, NBC's 30 Rock, they had a room full of homeless people, shopping carts and all. Wow, stuck it right up front. Wait, what happened? Last night on NBC's 30 Rock. Yeah. Show, yeah, yeah. Had a short cut to a scene, room full of homeless people, shopping carts up front, big wow sticker. No way. Really? Oh, yeah. I, nice. I DVR'd it. I haven't checked it out yet. Cool. All right, dude. Take Thanks, Paul. Guys. You know, these two are a little too free to hold a hand over their tigers. Look, okay, good. Jody Applegate from Channel 5 is now completely holding that white beastly tiger that that mauled me. And, and now it's getting rambunctious. Please scratch her. Look, it's scratching her. Come on, scratch her neck. Yeah, pat its back oh, like no, a here, mommy. Here he goes. Here it goes. Bite her face. Right There about. it is. There it is. Look, see, she's getting freaked out. But but the two guys are just like, ah, we, look, she's trying to give it back. That's when it'll get you. Bite her face. This is just like Johnny Carson when he was handling animals. Oh, no, unpredictable. Oh, she's trying oh. to give it back. Oh, no. What's yeah. going to happen? Ah. Yeah. Johnny was the only one that could do oh, that bit. Everyone Ed. has tried since, and it mm. just looks so hacky. Ed, oh. You had to have a bird in your head. Yeah. yeah. The tiger just ripped off my sack. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ed. I'm bleeding from the jugular. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, oh. Then it takes a dump on him. We could take a.